Hey guys, it's Kat. Welcome back to my channel. We have another room transformation video for you guys, but this time we are redoing the boys' bedroom. I've been planning to redecorate this room for the entire year, and if you guys follow me on Instagram, you know Kason has been asking about, talking about, and praying about having his very own bunk bed since about his fifth birthday back in May. <laughs> but Christmas is around the corner literally in four days, so I thought, what better Christmas present than the bunk bed that his little heart desires, plus a room transformation. Their bedroom is the only one in our house that's not really functional, there isn't good storage options in here, and it doesn't have its certain look or vibe, and it's just completely mixed matched. And it's just not that fun, creative place that I've always wanted it to be for them, so it was definitely overdue for a makeover, and this just seemed like the perfect time. We may have some challenges though, just because this room is very, very small. I want it to be this place where creativity flows and they can be themselves and use their imagination by having functional storage and not being so cramped in here. So I'm hoping we can make all of that happen while keeping my vision. But the thing is guys, we only have one day to finish this project. Only 24 hours. When Kason gets out of school tomorrow, my mom's going to pick them up and take them overnight and that's when the clock begins. So we're going to go ahead and do that and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Painting and painting. Now we're just doing a second coat right now. We're just trying to finish this up. I'm gonna give it a nice second coat all the way around. But so far it looks pretty good. I'm loving it. Love how clean and bright it looks in here. Can't wait for these kids to see it. I'm gonna make a move on this closet really quickly just to give it a nice coat. Doesn't have to be perfect. Um, but yeah, so that's the next step. See you guys in a bit. All right, the painting's finally done in here. I think it looks amazing so far. The guys did an awesome job. So shout out to Sed for coming through to help us out. You're the real MVP. And now as we wait for the paint to dry overnight, we're gonna go get some rest because we have to wake up first thing in the morning to make sure we have time to sand the bed frame of the bunk bed and then paint it. So we have a lot to do. It's gonna be crunch time, but right now it's bedtime. Hey guys, it's day two. Sean's been up all morning sanding the pieces of the bed because I read countless blog posts about painting the cure bed and the paint peeling off if you don't sand it down first. So I wanted to share some of our trial and errors with you guys because it's been a long day. Like this is the only <laughs> this is the only thing he's been it's able to work morning. on. Yeah. So um, these are the pieces that comes with the bed. It comes with countless pieces. We got regular sandpaper and where's the block? And just like this little block that helps hold the sandpaper. Buy it from Lowe's. Um, but it's literally taken all morning. So I had to run to my uncle's house. Thank God he had a sander, like an electric sander. So Sean's been using that. It's making it a little bit easier on his wrist. But 
Just to let you guys know, sanding these things, if you want to paint this bed and do the same project, it takes a long time, so make sure you have um, a lot of help. So he's going to finish. He's almost done. While he's doing that, I'm going to go build the storage units, and then we have to get ready to go to church for our Christmas experience. We have to be there in like less than an hour to set up, and then my mom's going to be dropping the boys off there. So clearly, this is not getting done today. But it's alright, we have uh, my aunt that's probably going to watch the boys tomorrow, which is Sunday. And then we're going to try to finish as much as we can, right? right? So, guys, it's a big project, but we're getting things done. I'm excited. It's going to be so worth it. Um, I bought a lock at Lowe's last night to put on the door. And so the boys don't come in the room at all tonight. Alright, we have to finish this. We're going to have to leave in less than an hour. But I'm going to go start building those cubicles. So let's go. So I finished building the two storage units. This one I got from Walmart clearance a while ago. I bought six of them because they were on clearance for nine dollars. So this was like the perfect time. We took it out of storage and I think it will be perfect for them to put some cubes in here to keep their toy toys organized. And then this one I got from Ikea when we went last month. Um, I got a really good deal on it because I had a coupon. And these you buy separately. But I figured this will be perfect for like their Legos and this small one maybe for Avery's all his little cars. Because you guys know he's obsessed with little cars. This one's going to go right into their closet. So it's kind of hidden but they know what to grab and maybe we'll label them too um, so they know at least getting started what should go where. So I'm excited. We have storage options. Now it's on to painting. Alright guys, we are back home from church. The boys are sleeping right now. They came home and they saw Frosty left them a little note saying that he accidentally locked their bedroom. So they're not going to be coming in here for the rest of the weekend. So we have a little time to spare. So right now we're going to start painting the bed pieces that Sean sanded. We have them leaning on the wall like this just because I figured it'll save us time instead of us, you know, laying on the floor, painting one side, then waiting for it to dry, flip it to the other side. Maybe if we paint it like this, turn it around a little bit and kneel it, let it dry all four sides, that'll save us a little bit of time. So we're going to start doing that now. Hopefully we can finish in like half an hour or so because it's already past midnight. Then my aunt said she can watch them tomorrow, which will give us maybe like four or five hours after church to finish up the entire room. Can we do it? I hope so. <laughs> All right, let's get started. expected but um, my best piece of advice would be to take your time read the instructions and to probably place something on the ground under it maybe if you have a rug or um, a sheet that you could lay down that way you don't scratch the paint um, I'm a little nervous to see what it looks like under once I flip it over but I think it should be okay I've been pre pretty delicate with it so um, we'll see if I have to touch anything up at the end. It's totally fine. I'll just do the, throw the roller brush over it and um, I'm sure it'll dry by the morning um, and we'll be good to go.
setting we got this set from Betty's right here this is the little dash um, and then this set right here that we put on Casey's bed is the dash so the little dash is just like the toddler bed set size so this is what we're gonna put on Avery's but as you can see I'm just so in love with it it's so cute it goes with the room so perfectly but guys how easy is this gonna be for the boys when they wake up in the morning Ooh, just sip your bed boom boom comes with a pillowcase like come on how cute is that i need one of these for our room it's so perfect it has a zipper on both sides comes with a sheet underneath very very warm oh this is perfect guys perfect they're gonna love it it's gonna make their life so much easier and mine Alright guys, it's Christmas morning and the time is finally here. We're about to do the reveal. All morning the boys have been looking around for this secret key that was supposed to come from Santa. So it's finally time. I didn't get to do all the things that I wanted to. Like I didn't get to finish my gallery wall but all those details, it's okay. I'm going to finish it later on and you guys will see it in the remainder of the video. But right now it's time to show them their room transformation. Let's go. What happened? <gasps> Frosty! Frosty! What? Frosty's in the door? In the window? What? Did he What's... leave a note? I don't know what it said. It said... What does it say? I was leaving... The North Pole. Mm -hmm. And I got stuck in the window. But I didn't forget to bring your special key. Did you check the tree? Hmm. Avery, the key is in the tree. Oh my God! Oh no! Where is it? 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 Where is Mommy, Mommy and Dada, Dada. we uh, love you best. Boys. I forgot it. The other way? No. Okay. Open it. It's open. Oh my gosh. Perfect. How did this even happen? Mommy. <laughs> Dad, did you break this? <laughs> How did I find it so quick? Mom, thank you, girl. It's a surprise for you. You get a breath. Oh my god. How do you feel? Right? Right. Right? Wow, finally! Avery! 
Are you happy? Yeah, so happy. Look, you guys have organization for your toys up under there. Look. And if we want to play, and books. And your books. Look at your closet, Casey. Wow. And look. Now your closet, you have toy organization. Wow! Right? Yeah! <laughs> now you can keep all your toys organized. Thanks, Mommy and Lily. I love this Christmas ever! <laughs> we did it. Alright, guys, so we have a bunch of bed right now, and I've been praying this for a long, long time ago. And I'm so happy about it. God, bring it to me and I love it. We love you. Be blessed. Peace out. Guys, we did it. We finally surprised the boys with their room transformation. Did you see the look on their faces? That was the highlight of my year. So many emotions, so much excitement, but as you know, we only had a few days to finish off this room. So there's still some things I wanna do, like some DIYs, put up their gallery wall, put up some frames, some shelves, and put in new curtains. So we have a lot that we still have to put together in here, and I wanna show you guys some of the last finishing touches. So you ready? Let's do it. So for the wall on the left side of the room, I thought it'd be great to add these big frames that I bought from Ikea. They're the Riva frame and they usually run around $15 each, but always keep your eyes out for sales and coupons because I think I got them around $10 or $12 each. This frame fits a 16 by 20 photo and I was really excited because I got these printed out for $4 each from Walgreens Photo. They had a coupon for 75% off prints, so I took advantage and I printed out these cute pictures that my cousin Kaiju took of them. He's a really dope and well-known photographer, so I also asked him to sign them for the memories. <laughs> Now for the shelves, these are actually spice racks from Ikea, but they're only $4 and work great as bookshelves. So I'm putting two above Kaysen's bed and two near Avery's and then just styling them with some of their most read books and some cute frames and their Bibles and prayer books, which I'll also link down below. So now for the curtain, I bought this on walmart.com, it's around $6 and it's really cute. I like how the, it goes with the monochromatic vibe of the room, but there was only one panel available for some reason, I guess it sold out. So I have to make it work, but I figured it's I think about 56 inches wide, the normal length of a curtain. I'm just going to cut it right down the middle and make two panels out of this and put in the boys room. So I think it'll do, this is a great DIY and I'm not gonna need a sewing machine or anything at all. So this is easy for anyone. So I'm gonna put it right here on my ironing board and because it has this line right here in the middle, I'm just gonna cut right down the middle right here. Doesn't have to be perfect and we are gonna take care of that seam. So just cutting right down the middle. So now we have two panels and what we're gonna do to take care of the seams is we're gonna use this Heat and Bond Ultra Hold. You can buy this at Joann's, Michael's, Hobby Lobby, AC Moore, wherever. I think I bought it from Joann's. Always use a coupon. It was like a 60% off coupon and that's what I used. So this is just an iron-on adhesive. So it's basically like double-sided tape, but when you put it on, you're going to iron it on and that's what keeps it sealed. And you don't ever have to use a sewing machine and you can wash it and it's not gonna come off. So it's pretty durable. So we're gonna work on one little section at a time here. You're just gonna be folding it over like this 
and ironing the tape on. So obviously this is where the curtain rod is gonna go through, so we don't want to seal that shut. So I made a little slit right on top here and right here, so we're able to fold this over like this. And for this one, we're just gonna tuck that in. See, it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm not worried about the seam being straight or anything. I just want it to be clean. So look how easy that was. You don't even need a sewing machine. And look, look how great that looks. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest. Okay, we officially have two panels. So now I'm gonna take this one down, put these up, and we'll see how it looks. Okay, now for some more DIYs. I have some twine, scissors, a printable, and a thin piece of a faux wood dowel, which I bought from Michaels. So I'm just cutting out two pieces to size and gluing the printable onto it, and then adding the twine to the corners to make a cute hanging frame. This is super easy and ridiculously affordable. You can print out whatever photo you want, but I love this as a daily reminder for them. Then I'll link all the printables down below so you guys can print them out for free for yourselves too. Next we have a frame, an erasable marker, and a Bible verse principle that Sean created. And all we're gonna do is put the picture into the frame, close it up, and then we have a super cute frame that acts as a whiteboard. So this makes it so much easier to memorize different Bible verses each week with the boys. This is probably my favorite DIY in the room. I know they're gonna love it. All right guys, we finally finished this room. We added so many details that really brought the entire room together and I'm in love with it. What do you think? Mm -hmm.